was a, I say once in a lifetime kind of game. You can just cut through the air, it's just so intense. Chase Young is quickly emerging as a defensive force to be reckoned with after he just finished his rookie season with the Washington football team. Having become a captain by the end of his rookie season, he has shown he can be a valuable leader for the whole team, not just the defense. He's a stoic, introverted man, which makes it hard to learn more about him outside of his incredible play. So in today's video, we'll be getting to know Chase Young a bit deeper by reviewing eight things you may not know about him. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Chase Young. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. Rare Defensive Heisman Finalists While we are sure you are aware of the fact that he was an extremely talented defensive lineman, you may not know that he is one of three defensive players in the last 30 years to be nominated as a Heisman Trophy finalist. A group with Charles Woodson and Monty Teos is not a bad group to be part of at the end of the season. In his last season with the Ohio State Buckeyes, he set a record with 16.5 sacks on the season, a record that stood for over 13 years. This was all the while being suspended for the first two games of the season. He even tied a record for most sacks in one game with four, including four tackles for a loss, as well as two forced fumbles. The man is incredibly humble as well, demonstrating throughout the season that winning in the college football playoffs was something he had always wanted and his primary goal. Number 7. Suspended because of an NCAA violation In 2018, as many college kids can be, Young needed some money. Someone close to him had the opportunity to loan out some money to Young, understanding that it would be paid back shortly. It was in the summer of 2019, all paid back, before the NCAA even knew of anything happening. Once the NCAA did get wind of this event, on October 8, 2019, they suspended him for first just a single game, depending on if they found it came from an agent or hadn't been paid back. Once they found that it had come from a close friend, the idea of the suspension went from being for the rest of the season, at that point could have been for five games, to just two weeks. Soon after the NCAA announced the suspension, Young took to Twitter and posted an apology, admitting his wrongdoing and acknowledging that he was cooperating with Ohio State and the NCAA to quickly return to the field, showing he knows how to take responsibility for his actions. Number 6. Grew up with top athletes Chase Young grew up in the southern part of Maryland, not far from Washington, D.C., and transferred to Demantha Catholic High School for junior year of school. During this time, he became close with fellow basketball athlete Markel Fultz. The two were close enough to set similar goals of becoming the first overall pick in their respective sports. While we know Fultz did end up becoming the number one overall pick in the NBA, Young was the only second overall pick in the NFL. The two were multi-sport athletes, where Young played football, basketball, and was a sprinter in track and field. He wasn't just an athlete though, having participated in his school's choir and also playing the piano, violin, and saxophone. Young is even musically gifted. This was before he transferred to Demantha. Number 5. Many famous fans already Chase has become very popular considering he's only 21 years old. In early 2020, before the NFL draft, he was working out with Arnold Schwarzenegger. For those who are unaware, before Arnold was the governor and the action movie star, he was a world-class bodybuilder. Not a bad guy to be preparing before the combine and NFL draft yet. Not only movie stars are fond of him, but multiple athletes have also taken notes of the young man's prowess. During his record-tying game against Wisconsin in 2019, both J.J. Watt and LeBron James were applauding him on Twitter, referring to him as a really good player and also as an absolute monster. You can't get much better compliments from some of the top athletes in the world currently playing. When you are getting shoutouts from the sports world's best, it's understandable that people will start putting you in the same discussion as the Bosa brothers, or even Cully Mack or Von Miller. It can be seen from afar that the man can dominate when he gets in the zone. Number 4. Has a career after the NFL in mind Chase Young grew up in a household with a cop for a father and mother who worked in the Department of Transportation. Ever since he was little, he has dreamed of becoming a cop. Obviously, he wanted to be in the NFL first and foremost. Even as he grew older, he still maintained this desire to become a cop. He went off to university and studied criminal justice. He has shown interest in following a path similar to Charles Peanut Tillman and joining the FBI. With all the unrest coming from citizens towards cops during 2020, and even before that, Young has been a bit more skeptical of becoming a cop after his NFL career is finished. 
he and each member of his family have been subject to unwarranted search and seizures because of race and because of power struggles, while he can understand where it comes from, he knows it is unacceptable. He has explained that he would like to demonstrate that not all cops are corrupt and be able to help illustrate that cops are often just trying to do their job safely. He has even participated in a public service announcement with OSU's police department to show how citizens can behave so that an officer will not feel triggered. Number three, he had a traditional upbringing. As explained earlier, Young grew up in a family in the law enforcement realm. His father was a sheriff in Arlington County for 22 years. His mother had worked in the Department of Transportation, where she investigates cases of fraud and other crimes involving the DOT, and his uncle worked for 20 years in the Prince George County Police Department. Two more uncles and two other cousins were even involved in law enforcement. Needless to say, Chase had little room to mess around and get in trouble as a kid. He stayed in line and played three sports and played three musical instruments through his high school years. He is a well-rounded man who grew up to become very responsible and able to take care of his business professionally. Number two, he has great respect for the greats. As many young defensive edge rushers strive to do, Young wants to get a sack on some of the greats. He targeted Tom Brady in the playoffs to no avail. And even during his regular season, he attempted to get his hands on Big Ben Roethlisberger, also to no avail. With the case of Big Ben, he had the utmost respect for him, saying during the game, I didn't hit you because I love you. In regards to Tom Brady, he made it clear in his playoff appearance that I want Tom, but at the end of the day, he was not able to get it done. Number one, he has been winning awards all his life. Chase Young has been gifted since he started playing, not without hard work, and people have taken notice. He has won countless awards since high school, starting with being named to the 2016 USA Today All-USA team, and then he became the All-Metropolitan Defensive Football Player of the Year by the Washington Post, even being invited to the International Bowl and the All-American Bowl. The awards and bowl appearances did not stop there, as the Ohio State Buckeyes had reached the Rose Bowl in 2019. During that same year, he won six awards, the Bronco Nagurski Trophy, the Chuck Benarik Award, the Ted Hendricks Award, the Chicago Tribune Silver Award, the Nagurski Woodsman Defensive Player of the Year, and the Smith Brown Defensive Lineman of the Year. As mentioned earlier, he was nominated for the Heisman Trophy. All the while, he was nominated for the Walter Camp Award and the Maxwell Award, both awards given out in Player of the Year categories. The list goes on, and we still have not yet heard of who has won the Defensive Rookie of the Year in the NFL at this point. Chase Young has been outstanding and he isn't even 22 years old yet. This guy will be around for years to come unless he chooses to end his NFL career early and join law enforcement, but for all of our sakes, we hope not. He could light up this league for years and rank in every award the NFL offers. He is an all-around talent we hope to see for a while. And with that, we end today's video. Which of these facts did you find the most interesting about Chase Young? Are there any others that you would add to this list? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Chase Young, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.